Good morning, everybody. I'm very excited today because Kenny's birthday gift for me is ready for takeoff. I'm all set. I'm about to head out. I'm eating Kenny for lunch. And then we'll pick up my brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I'm very excited. I can't wait to unbox it, see it, and hold it for the first time. So I got to go with you guys, and I'll see you when I get back. Bye! If you're new to my channel, I'm Echo. Very nice to meet you. For today's vlog, I'm going to unbox Kenny's birthday gift for me. I got it today. My am eating it far, fresh from the shop. My brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I'm very excited and I cannot wait to start using this phone. But before I open this box and show you guys what it looks like, let me just share with you the story of my first encounter with the mobile phone. It was back in 1993. My family was the first to ever have a phone in our village. It was an old vintage brick phone with antenna. My father had bought it so he could call us from Saudi Arabia when he was working there as a fisherman at the time. The phone model was a Nokia Cityman PT612 and I can still vividly remember the first time that it ran. Both my mother and myself, and I think including our neighbors, panicked. It was very funny. Talk about first-time experience. You guys, just to put things in context, my village, Bikal, at the time, didn't have electricity yet. There was only 10 neighboring houses. The road wasn't paved yet. There was only one jeepney operational that would do two trips in a day. So back in the day, if you missed the schedule in the morning, then you will have to wait the next day to be able to go to the nearby town. Or another option would be to walk from my village, Bika, to Santa Domingo Albay, which is about 8.5 kilometers. So then from 1993 to 1995, we had to bring the phone downtown for charging. In 1995, Bika, finally got electricity and then we got an upgrade and so our second family phone was the Alcatel BE1C model. Then my father came back to the Philippines and he focused on farming but then came several typhoons so then we lost the family business, we lost everything, came years of hardship and then it was only in 2005 that me and my family had seen and used another phone. So year 2005, I got my first ever personal phone. It was a Nokia 3210. I bought it using the cash grant that I got when I graduated in high school as a valedictorian. And then when I was in college, although I was a scholar, I still had to pay a miscellaneous fee and we didn't have money at the time. So I had to sell my Nokia 3210 so I could pay the miscellaneous fee and so I could take my exams. Thankfully, one of my college friends at the time lent me his phone and it was very nice of him. Joseph, if you're watching this vlog right now, I just want to thank you again. I hope you are safe, you are healthy, and you're happy you're doing well wherever you may be. Then I saved up again and then I bought myself a second-hand phone and this time it was Sony Ericsson T681. Then, when I was in Singapore for my on-the-job training, I saved up and then bought myself a second-hand phone. It was a Nokia N70 as a gift slash reward for myself when I finished my on-the-job training. After my on-the-job training, I came back to the Philippines to finish my studies. My phone was stolen, so that was very unfortunate. So, I didn't have any phone for a while. Then, I got a part-time job. And then I saved up again, and then I bought myself a um, Nokia 1100. I had it for a while, and when I was finally working in Manila, I gave that phone to my mama so that her and I can keep in touch. And then I bought myself a Nokia 6300. Then in 2008, I won a brand new phone. It was a Sony Ericsson K770i for being one of the top selling agents for Virgin Mobile inbound account. Then I upgraded to Sony Ericsson W595. And then I tried the Sony Ericsson Xperia as well, which I didn't really like. 
So when I was working at Celora, and this was the year 2012, my phone was Nokia N9. And then when I was hired as an executive assistant to the vice chairman at the Century Properties Group Inc., I rewarded myself with an iPhone 5S. You guys, prior to becoming a huge fan of Samsung Galaxy Note phones, I was a big Apple user. I've got the iPhone 5S and then an iPad mini, which I received as a bonus, and then an iPad 2, which I received as a gift. To this day, I still have them, and it's still in very good quality. I do take very good care of my things, all the more when they have sentimental value. The first Note phone that I used was the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 model. It was actually my boss who introduced me to using an Android phone. The Note 2 was perfect for me because my work as an executive assistant was very demanding. I was always on call, I was always on the go, and the Samsung S Pen was a game changer. It helped me a lot, especially for note taking. Love the screen off memos. The smart select function was awesome. I used it for signing documents, and these are just a few of its many useful functions. And when the new model came out, my boss got me the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 as a bonus. Loved it, and when the new model came out, I moved on to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. When the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 came out, Kenny got it for me for my birthday. But then, of course, with the cool battery exploding issues, I had to return it back. So when the Samsung Note 8 came out, I got it and it's the phone that I'm still using now. It's still of great quality, the battery's great, it's barely scratched. In fact, even after using it for years, it's still looking like brand new for me. So yeah, I just love Note phones and that is why I am very excited to open up my new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So Kenny got this for me as a birthday present and it comes with a free Galaxy earbuds and it looks beautiful. It's not available yet. I'm going to order it on the website uh, right after I take this video. So today I'm just going to show you the phone. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is the latest Note phone from Samsung. This phone is available in three colors, Mystic Bronze, Mystic Black, and Mystic White. I got the Mystic Bronze and it's just gorgeous. It's bigger and a little heavy than Note 8. The box comes with a fast charger, a USB cable, a headset, and a phone casing. In Hong Kong, the handset price is at 9,198 Hong Kong dollars for the 256 gigabyte storage and 9,998 Hong Kong dollars for the 512 gigabyte model. Mine is the 512 gigabyte model. I'm not gonna give you guys the full spec of the phone because it's not my expertise. You can find a different video for that. What I'm about to share with you are just the basic specs and features that I love about this phone. For instance, the front and rear camera of this phone, I'm absolutely blown away, you guys. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has triple rear camera and you can shoot videos up to 8K with 24 frames a second video. I already tried it, it's mind-blowing. The front camera quality is as good as the rear camera. It has many amazing features that you can play around with. Love that you can zoom up to 5x optical and this isn't digital zoom so you're not losing any quality on these images. It's kind of crazy that this phone can also zoom in all the way up to 50 times. The single take feature is also great as it captures the moment. This phone is more than meets the eye, but I want to jump into my favorite feature, the S Pen. The updated S Pen has the Mystic Bronze finish, which I really like. It's Bluetooth enabled. It's also water resistant, so if you happen to be taking notes underwater, it's not going to be a problem. The major improvement that Samsung did to the new Galaxy S Pen is improved latency. This is the fastest S Pen I've ever used. It's pretty amazing how fast this pen writes. Besides Samsung Notes, Screen Write, Screen Off Memos, the S Pen has many more useful features. One of my favorite is the Smart Select feature. You can record and make a GIF. 
and you can quickly copy a sentence or a phrase and extract it as a text and copy that to your clipboard. It's just awesome! The S Pen, now you can use it as a remote control. So when you take a selfie, when you take a video, all you have to do is actually use the pen and then click this button here and then you can take a picture. And I find this very handy, especially for vlogging. So now I have two phones and I don't necessarily need two phones right now, especially so that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is dual SIM phone. So if you're like me and if you've got some old electronics lying somewhere in your house collecting dust, here are six clever ways you can do to put your old gadgets to good use. For all tablets, make it a digital photo frame with automatic slideshow display. Your old phones and tablets can be a great digital library. Load it with a bunch of electronic books and use it as your personal Kindle. Or, load it with your recipes and you can make it as your own personal electronic cookbook. You can also use your old tablet as an electronic food menu. Another thing you can do is you can sell it if it's still working and of good quality. Post an ad on Facebook or you can find an online electronic store that sells used gadgets. And of course, you can donate your old gadgets to a charity. Or you can activate it as new and give it away as a present for someone, which is my preferred way. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to ship this to the Philippines because I have six more siblings home. Four of them are still in school. One in college, three boys are in high school. Larry is now in senior high school and he will be needing a really good phone, especially at the moment So he's doing an online classes. So what I'm going to do, I still have the box here. I'm going to ship it back to the Philippines. This phone, my Galaxy um, Note 8, is going to be my birthday gift for him which is on October 19th. And I have two more siblings that are going to have their birthdays in October, Alice on the 11th and then Marvin on the 30th. So for Marvin, I'm gonna give him my iPad mini. This iPad mini has a sentimental value to me because I was only working as an executive assistant for two weeks and then I was given a very big task it was a huge project. I had sleepless nights. So when I finished the project, my boss gave me my first ever bonus and this iPad mini. And I really do hope that my younger brother Marvin will like this gift. I have the iPad too as well and I don't use this anymore. So I'm gonna give this to my mother. I'm gonna fill this up with photos of the family, some movies, and music. And I have a 1.5 terabyte hard drive that Kenny is working right now and loading it with all the movies that I think my family would enjoy. And I'm going to give my old camera to my sister Alice because she loves taking photographs. She has a good eye for photography. She would really like this gift. So for her birthday, I'm giving her my Canon G15. It is still a great quality. All of this I'm going to be shipping to my family. I think by the end of the month, I'm also going to be sending other stuff like food, snacks from Hong Kong, and some clothes because I'm unable to go home and see them and I miss them so much. So hopefully this and the package would make them feel the love. I want them to receive something from us because I think I won't be able to come home until the pandemic is over. So I think that is it for today. So excited to start using this phone. Thanks for watching and if you haven't yet, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for more delicious recipes and insightful videos. Check out my channel. I post videos every week and if you have questions, suggestions, if you have anything that you want to know about me, leave me a comment below. As always, I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!